old miss with the history of oligomenorrhea, spotting only since menarche. And uh, this is, I, have, I am showing you the uterus in longitudinal section, measuring approximately 6.1 centimeter in men and uh, 2 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. Now, so far as the length is concerned, it's normal. But the anterior posterior diameter is definitely less than normal because up to 2.5 centimeter is considered to be mid, uh, normal lower limit of the normal uterus. This is 2.0. So uh, hypoplastic uterus, but the a bit favorable sign in this case is that we can see the endometrial canal. So the, if you see, we see the endometrial canal with this size of the uterus. It means that she can, she is a good candidate for uh, hormonal therapy and is going to respond to it. Uh, okay, here we are. Now you see the endometrial echo line is seen clearly, this one, and uh, this is the uh, transfer section of the, oh, sorry. This is the transfer section. It measures 3.1 centimeter. So, the, so far as dimensions are concerned, this is the uh, uterus with the decreased uh, anterior posterior diameter, but having intact central endometrial lining with normal length is a favorable sign that given hormonal therapy, she is a good candidate to respond to it positively. Now when I go to the adnexa, we see the right ovary, which is giving us polycystic appearance. This is the right ovary. You can see the central stroma and the follicles, one, two, three, four, five, six, in this view, However, in longitudinal section, you will be able to see more. And uh, so this is the right ovary, which is polycystic. And now we come towards the left side to see the left ovary. And the left ovary. Yeah. is also polycystic as you can see that uh, the num this is the left ovary I'll focus in front of you this is the left ovary in longitudinal section <coughs> here this is the view in longitudinal here This is the transfer section. And again to show you the longitudinal section of the left ovary in full. Not all the follicles uh, can be <coughs> taken in one view, but when I, I maneuver the probe, you can see that uh, uh, the follicles are quite simple are in line number, the volume of the ovary, left ovary, is and this is a right ovary with a volume of 9.7 uh, <coughs> ml. Now this is the transfer section once again that of the uh, left ovary. Here. I wish to get the volume once again.
And now you see the volume is 26 uh, ml. And <coughs> this is the correct volume. Now let's go to the right side. Okay. This is the right ovary in longitude. Now I'm going to show you in longitude. Okay. Now let's measure the volume of the right ovary. Longitude. <coughs> Now the volume of the right ovary is 2.4 or 24 ml <coughs> or cubic, cent <coughs> cubic centimeter square. So this is a case of uh, hypoplastic ovary with endometrial canal echoes, normal length, decreased anterior posterior diameter, <coughs> and uh, uh, with the right ovaries with an, uh, having increased volume, showing increased volume. Uh, and polycystic ovaries. Thank you. Thank you very much.